two wins in a row, um, including one on the road, it kind of seems from the outside, like you guys are turning things around. Does it, does it feel that way? Like inside the program too? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, we've, the, the fellas have, have maintained a good attitude, you know, throughout our, throughout our uh, ups and downs of the season. And, um, you know, it's just one of those things. You got to learn how to win uh, on the road. You got to learn how to win tough games. You got to learn how to win in this league. And, uh, you know, through enough trial and error, the error throughout the season, uh, hopefully uh, we're starting to turn the corner and trend in the right direction. Gotcha. Um, and then I have a completely unrelated question for a story I'm doing uh, on the managers. Um, you know, you have been around, uh, well, obviously your, your whole career, but including this, you know, this senior group for, um, you know, four years, I guess, if you could speak to kind of, you know, just, just what they do that we don't, we don't really get to see. You no, know, those guys are, are really kind of the secret to the sauce of our success in the program, uh, their contributions and their efforts, whether it's uh, on the court every day uh, with practices and workouts, uh, whether it's, you know, their um, commitment to the program and cutting up film and doing analytical work and, you know, all those things that go into game prep, practice prep. Uh, they are, we, ha we have a phenomenal, phenomenal group of, of young people who help us and assist us every day and our success is is in a huge part uh, because of their contributions thanks Sadi, uh, fr from the outside it, it seems like the defensive intensity has been stepped up quite a bit uh, I guess beyond that uh, what improvements has the team made defensively and how difficult is it to work with a team that has so many new pieces? Yeah, I, th I think our, our defensive pressure definitely uh, has gone up. I think our awareness, you know, of our assignments and, and what we need to do, uh, especially in crunch time, because it's a possession game. And, and you know, at any, at any given time during the course of a game, you can have a two or three minute stretch that really kind of determines the outcome of the game. And it's, it's just being committed to uh, sticking to our habits and our principles uh, to put ourselves in the best position uh, to win night in and night out. Is there anyone particularly on the team who, who has em embodied that? Um, I know coaches have talked about Eli being a real captain defensively. Uh, I know Jace made, you know, Jason, uh, I think it was Musa making diving plays over the last couple of games. Anyone who's really stepped up in that regard? I think it's a, it's been a collective, it's been a collective effort. I mean, obviously Eli being here as long as he is, he's always the anchor and another coach out there on the floor. He's always given direction. Uh, but, we, you know, it, as much as these young people talk uh, off the floor, it's, it's, it's amazing how much, you know, sometimes you have to encourage them to use their voices on the floor, right, during the course of games. And so, again, I think it's just now a creature of habit uh, doing those little things that we've been trying to enforce uh, since we uh, uh, got together in July as a unit. And um, but I think uh, every night, you know, everybody's showing up and it's a new guy and you know those plays that you mentioned with Musa and, and Jace and, and those last couple of days those are inspiring plays you know those are those are those are plays that don't necessarily show up in the stat sheet uh, but the results uh, of their effort their intensity uh, it does it definitely changes the mood uh, of your uh, defensive awareness uh, during the course of a game. Sadi, I have, a, I have a question about Hunter. It, it seems like over the, the last month, he seems like he's taken his game to another level. Um, I think he has like four 20-point games in the, last, in the last five games. I guess just have you seen a flip at all? And I guess does it seem like he's more motivated? I don't know that I would say more motivated. Um, obviously, you know, we expect a lot of him. You know, we're, we're going to play through him. And, um, you know, he's, he's one of our leaders. And so with that comes more expectation. And, you know, he puts a lot of, um, you know, he challenges himself uh, to be great, uh, not only in this league, but nationally. And um, we, 
are well aware, like when he's good, you know, typically we're good. And so, you know, but that's what you would expect uh, from a player of his caliber. Hey, Sadi, Clark Kellogg here. Um, curious as to the journey of the freshmen, as you've kind of watched them navigate this first 50% of the season, um, how are they growing, Caleb and, and Musa? Um, Frankie, too, in, in particular, what are the areas where, where you've seen them make, um, make some positive strides over the last couple of months? You know, they're just their commitment, their attention to detail. I mean, I'm watching a couple of those guys you just talked about right now, you know, getting in some extra work. And they're all, you know, all of our freshmen are guys that are serious about their craft, uh, whether it's, you know, through player development on the court, whether it's film session, trying to get extra film session, they're all really, really serious about getting better. And I think that's all that you can ask for. And at this point of the season, like those guys have longed enough minutes now, like, you know, okay, like let's, let's move from freshman talk to, you know, you guys are playing some pretty veteran minutes and, 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 um, but a lot of, as you know, Clark, it's just being able to get reps and reps at this level against high level competition night in and night out. It's going to, you know, uh, be part of their, their growth development. Hey, Sadi, back on the topic of Eli, uh, on the offensive side of the ball with other players around him making more shots, playing a little bit better, how has that allowed him to uh, fall into the role he's more comfortable with, with um, moving the ball around and being a distributor and uh, not necessarily making those shots himself? Eli is Eli, man. He's a basketball player. So whether he's making shots, whether he's creating shots for other people, uh, whether he is, you know, on on most nights trying to lock down the best perimeter defender uh, of our opponent, he's consistent, and and that's the thing that we love most about a kid like Eli is that you you know what you're going to get out of him, uh, night in and night out on both sides of the ball, and you know he, he understands now as a senior that his impact doesn't uh, stop whether whether he's making shots or not there's so many more ways to impact the game uh, and he uh, does that at a really high level for us hey Saudi when, when you get to this part of the season where the games are coming thick and fast every couple of days what are some of the things that, that players need to do in between games so that they have the best chance of maintaining consistency the next time they get on the floor for an actual game well, we're big into recovering, you know, so our our our, um, our health and wellness team, you know, our strength and conditioning coach, Sandman, you know, they're really dialed into, you know, what happens in between games, whether it's the post game, post practice, pre game, um, recovery, mobility, stretching, ice, ice tub, sleeping, you know, getting the amount of rest so that your body and your mind can function at a high level. Um, and, and then I think I mentioned this before, Coach Jawan, uh, since day one, is really big on scouting reports and everybody being dialed in to the details of the scouting report. So that doesn't, um, not just personnel, but also, you know, the actions that teams are running, what our game plan going into each game. And so uh, it's, it's more than just a physical, but also a mental uh, preparation that guys have to uh, carry a professional attitude as they go about our business. Speaking of those scouting reports, uh, what have you seen of Northwestern? What are you expecting tomorrow? Man, they're a good team. You know, their record does not reflect the kind of team that they are. I mean, if, if you look at the games that they've been in and the games that they lost, it's been all single digit games except for the last one, this last one against Purdue. Uh, but they got a three headed monster uh, with Nance and Bowie and Audige. And then, you know, even their post play, um, you know, with Young, you know, those guys, are, it's, a, it's a veteran team. I think seven of their nine guys are juniors and seniors. So they understand how to play in this league, how to win games in this league. Um, you know, they're, they're doing a really good job of spacing the floor and attacking and using all their weapons. 
you know, they can go smaller and put Nance at the five, which causes, you know, a, a tough matchup problem, or, you know, they can play thump and bump when they put uh, Young in, in at the five. So, you know, their versatility uh, makes it very challenging for them. And, and I think the best part of, of them that gives them the best opportunities to win night in, they don't turn the ball over. Uh, so they're one of the best teams in the country uh, with, uh, in terms of their turnover percentage. And so they make you defend. They make you defend. Sadie, you were talking about, um, you know, the recovery and a lot of games in a short amount of time. Uh, kind of on that topic is, is there any update on potentially, uh, you know, squeezing in those those two home games that you lost? Is there anything, I guess, you can tell us about when they might be played? Yeah, that's above my pay grade. <laughs> so I, I, I know and hope uh, that those games will be played because, okay. um, you know, they're – games that we definitely want to play games that the people would want to see uh and um you know I, I know that the league is working hard to schedule those games so uh, i'm i'm fairly confident that um you know that'll get done and you know whenever whenever those dates are locked in we'll be ready to roll gotcha and then with northwestern i mean with your group do you have to uh, talk about, you know, not having a letdown because, you know, you, you know that they're good and you know the games have been close, but I don't know, maybe the, the freshmen might just look at their record and, you know, I don't know. Is, is that a thing or not really? Yeah, I, I don't think that's much of a thing. I mean, you know, you respect every opponent and uh, we've watched enough film on them to understand and emphasize enough uh, that this team is good. I mean, heck, they, they beat Michigan State uh, at Michigan State uh, without one of their best players. So if that doesn't resonate with you, then, you know, I don't know, you know, what you're looking at. And, you know, th this, this is the Big Ten. There are no, there are no off nights in this league. And so uh, that's the approach that we have. That's the approach that uh, Coach Jawan expects of our players. And we're going to uh, come in and battle and, and do our best tomorrow night. Hey, Saudi, when it comes to Terrence, you know, what are the types of things that, that he does to make sure that if it's a night he plays five minutes or 25 minutes, he can impact the game, even if he hasn't gotten a lot of opportunities in a game for a stretch of, you know, a little bit of time? How does he stay ready? Yeah, I think that's just part of who he is uh, as a player, uh, you know, being dialed into uh, his assignments on both sides of the ball. He's a really smart kid, high IQ kid. And it, that's a skill. That's a skill to be able to sit on the bench for however long, come in the game, you know, not necessarily knowing, you know, when you're not, when your name or when your number is going to be called and then, you know, execute whatever is needed at that point. Because, you know, let's be honest, when you come off the bench, normally you're either coming all, uh, in to res um, uh, uh, reserve somebody who's been in the game for a while and playing well and you need to maintain that or things haven't been going so well right and we need that new that new energy that new blood to kind of spark us and i think t uh has shown that he's capable of doing that for us